purchasing our new model of airless spray gun. Sansi Imports is thrilled to bring this model to the market. We've looked for it for quite a few years to find an airless spray gun that was A, simple to operate, affordable, easy to clean. So now you've purchased the item from us, thank you very much, and now we'll show you what you get when you open the carton. To start with, obviously, you get the spray gun machine. It's pre-fitted with its suction hose and return pipe. In the carton, you're also getting a 13 meter pressure hose that's 13 meters long with 19 mil fittings on the end. You're getting your airless spray gun, which comes with the gun and one separate nozzle, which is at the bottom down here. Okay, but more about fitting the gun a little later. Also in the box, you're going to get a screwdriver for repairs and a 19mm and 17mm spanner. You're going to get a bottle of lubricating fluid, which I'll explain shortly. Obviously an instruction booklet. And this item here is not a hairnet. It's actually used to filter the paint because it's most important when using these type of equipment that you have really clean and lump free paint. So we'll stop the camera for a minute and we'll go about setting up the unit and we'll see it in operation. Thank you. Okay, now carrying on with our feature on the airless sprayer, just to show you some of the controls of the machine and also then we'll talk about assembling of the, of the machine prior to use. You have your on off power switch and obviously your power cable which will connect to a normal 10 amp power supply extension lead or whatever depending on where you're going to use it on off power switch this knob up here controls the flow of paint to the gun it actually works slightly differently if my cameraman or camera lady will just come up you have a max and a minimum flow sign on top of the knob and winding the knob controls the flow you can slow it right down or speed it up. Looking at the machine in terms of assembly, there's one important point you must note. This is the suction hose. And if you can come down here with me, cameraman. This suction hose fits into this red knobbed fitting simply by pressing it up. And that holds it in place. It's most important that you recognize that because when you come to clean the gun after use, you need to be able to remove this hose, which is done by pushing the red up and sliding the paint, the pipe out. I'll put it in and out again just so you can see it. Secure, removed, most important. Now I'll leave it in the gun as it is. So, this feature here is a spring clip which holds the suction line in place on the pump. We won't remove it at this time. There are three O-rings inside there. It's a very easy remove in order to clean the gun. You simply disconnect the spring and the pipe will drop out. The spring feature allows the pipe and suction hose to be twisted to suit the bucket of paint that you're going to stick this hose into. Again, looking at the, at the, at the, at the pump, this control here controls the flow either to direct the flow towards the paint line or to direct the flow towards the suction line. When directed towards the suction line and the pump is on, the paint will circulate through the suction hose and then back out through the expel hose. When you're priming the machine, we're going to use this feature quite extensively. When you wish to paint with the machine, you'll switch it to paint there's an arrow on the line which shows you the paint coming straight out of the hose which will be connected here. Connection of the hose, Eric if you can bring it with me. The yellow 13 meter hose, it's a 19 mil fitting. It's simply screwed onto the pump right there. And tightened up, snug down, don't over tighten it but just make sure that it's reasonably firm onto the pump using your 19 mil spanner tool. It's quite simple in terms of that. This is the spray gun that comes with the machine. Now, most important feature. There is a danger with this machine 
if there's a leak in it, they call it an injection danger. There's exceptionally high pressure within the system. And a leak in the hose or the gun onto your skin directly can cause what they call an injection wound. And that is exceptionally painful and can be very dangerous. So all joints and units should be firm and tightened up with no leaks. This lock on the handle of the gun here ensures that the handle can't be pressed without, in, without purposefully doing it. It's most important that you use that lock to stop the handle being pressed. In this case, we'll lock the handle for now. When the gun is supplied, I'll just take this off. The valve that comes with it is loose. So inside there is the seal of the nozzle and on this key here is the actual nozzle. That's the hole where the paint will come out of and that's the entrance hole. It's designed to rotate because if you get a blockage in the nozzle you rotate it and spray back through the nozzle to clear it. That's the feature that's involved in this. This simply fits as a key system in behind the seal there like that and you turn it, there's an arrow on the, net, on the trigger which shows you which way the paint is going to come out. If you reverse it, you'll clear the blockage in the nozzle. But it's sort of self-explanatory when you get to look at it. Now I'm going to fit that back to the gun. Thank you, Eric. Again, note that the trigger is locked. Nice snug fit on the gun. And there's your paint nozzle. Showing right now on a horizontal spray, if we turn it around, we can get a, ver a, a vertical spray on the nozzle. Like so. Quite simple. Thank you, Eric and snug it down again to make sure you've got no leaks again being aware of that injection hazard with this type of equipment once it's assembled up you can unlock the trigger and the gun is good to go right now that being said we're ready to charge it up and we'll see you we can see us prime the pump and let's see how it performs Okay, now we've set up our airless sprayer and we're going to prime it, charge it and see if we can put some paint on the wall. But for the purposes of this exercise we're not using real paint. Our landlords tend to object if we paint the walls continuously different colours. So we've got a nice big bucket of water here. You can see that my suction hose is actually clamped in the bucket. I prefer that method. The clamp doesn't come with the machine, you can devise your own clamp, but it stops the suction hose from vibrating out. We mentioned earlier on in the video the fact that we've got a primer hose and a suction hose that's connected via this red connection button at the bottom. Most important that that is inserted. Our power on-off switch is here and our flow diversion switch is on pointing now towards the suction hose because what's going to happen I'm going to turn the machine on and water is going to come up the suction hose and circulate back through the discharge hose into the same bucket while the machine primes itself. Once it's primed and we see no more air bubbles going back through this clear hose here, we can then turn off the machine and get ready to spray paint. Just prior to starting the machine, there's one feature that we have to show you. This slot here on the front is used to place the seal lubrication oil into the pump. Now you need to do this according to the instructions every four hours or so. There's a piston going up and down inside here. This fluid is used to lubricate the seals on it. So it's most important that you do utilize it. There's a little tray in the front there. You put four or five drops of oil on the top of the seal, I've actually done it already in this case, but on top of the seal by, by squirting it into that slot. So that is the seal lubrication fluid. It actually lives on the side of the machine 
in a holder there. Okay, so we've placed our seal lubrication fluid in. We have our power on off switch. Our diversion knob is pointing towards divert the fluid back to the bucket. I'm going to turn it on now. You should see bubbles come up through the machine. Okay, the line is now clear. I'm now going to switch the machine to pump. There's an arrow pointing towards the yellow pipeline, and when we turn it on, the hose will be charged. The action of the pump stopping like that is because the system is now totally pressurized. You'll hear when I depress the knob, paint or water in this case will flow out of the gun and the machine will start to operate. When I release the handle on the, on the air gun, the machine will pressurize again and stop operating. Here we go. Lock off. Now we can alter the flow of the paint. At the moment it's quite a high flow. I'm going to turn it down a bit. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but I'm turning to minimum and that will reduce the flow of the paint coming out of the gun. So by using that knob, you can set the rate of paint that you want to apply to the wall or whatever you're going to paint with the, with the system. I'll bring it up high again. And I'm taking it down. So you can see I'm getting quite an adjustable flow rate. You can set it to suit the thickness of paint and the amount that you want to apply to the surface at any time. Now we're going to move on to, you've completed your spray, you need to clean the gun. And, and this is probably the most important part of owning this machine. It's best to have two buckets and you utilize fresh water because we're using a water-based paint in this case and you use that bypass system. So let's assume that now we have fresh water in this bucket. It was paint. We're going to run enough paint through the gun first, enough water through the gun to make sure that it's clear. Wind the rate up. You can spray it back into your paint pot if you like, or you can spray it simply into the open air until you get clean liquid coming through. Once that's finished, and you've got clean liquid through your gun, switch the divert, and now you're running fresh water through the system, coming out here. Once the water runs clear, you've cleaned your gun, you've cleaned your system, and that is so important. Once it's all complete, we'll discharge the system and take the nozzle off the gun so you can make sure that's clear and this machine will then last you for many many years if you neglect to clean it you can do it serious damage that's a downfall of the machine but it's something that most users users can cope with so i hope you've enjoyed our video i hope you can use our machine would i paint the hq holden with it no i would not would i paint a house with it i most definitely would would i paint a roof or a backyard fence Certainly, that's what it's designed for. It takes a few hours of masking off to paint a house, but you'll do it so fast and so well, they'll think you're a professional. Thank you for supporting Sansi Imports and NDS products.